Hey everybody, let's play some Crusader Kings. And uh, since we don't have that much to do currently, I'll just unpause the game, let her rip, let her run. We're currently waiting for the claim on Sankt Galen. And we're also waiting for our, whoops, for our dear neighbors. Anyway, Otto comes of age. I'm proud to see my son no longer as a child, but as an adult. With sufficient tutelage, even a child that has displayed little natural inclination toward warfare, such as Otto, can come to truly understand it. Well, little... Well, what? <laughs> I thought he was talented for that. And sufficient tutelage, for sure. We got two great tutors. And I'm kind of happy he's back at our court with all the wars that go on in Poland and over there. So, uh, welcome back. Anyway, where was I? Uh, he has shown great aptitude both in battle tactics and the management of armies. He will make a fine commander one day, I'm sure. Well, I'm sure as well. Let's check him out. Oh yeah, he get, became a skilled tactician. That's okay. Um, he's not the best fighter one-on-one, -on -one, though that's, that's alright. Uh, he can lead from the second row. He's humble. Okay, at least he won't struggle with piety like his good old man. Um, he is brave. That is awesome. Martial prowess. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Likelihood of dying in battle, 100%. Okay, maybe not so awesome. And his colors. Well, that is actually quite... That's weird. Huh. Those callous and humble. It's like... Hmm. He's like indifferent, indifferent and humble, and brave. It's kind of stoic, no? Doesn't doesn't that together come together as a stoic character? Interesting. He's gonna be a bit different from his father. Um, his father is ambitious and just. He has very bold um, character attributes, while the heir is more uh, more on the quiet side, I'd say. But Maybe more efficient. Maybe he's the one who will start House Habsburg Rise to Glory. Though we shouldn't count out shouldn't count out Count Werner. I, <laughs> I had to do it and it wasn't even intentional. Anyway, that's great. So now we can uh, we should actually find a spouse, but let's let her run for a couple minutes more. Yeah, that heir is unmarried. Um okay, let's deal with it. I know I gave a big speech last time. Who I can pick and why I would pick them and blah blah blah. Um, I still have the filters in here. Um, I do want an inheritable trait and I made an argument for it that nobody disproved. So here we go. Uh, we're gonna check out for for traits. But the characters here, they're all a bit a bit far-fetched. It's like if okay, let's let's make my argument again. If we would let's reset those to default. Um, let's make an age difference of around five and fertile. Um, well, actually, there are not that many. What's wrong in this game? Like, there's no eligible... I was about to say we, we can get some... Uh, wife of higher birth, but it doesn't really... There's no notable alliances here at all. Ah, here they come. Messina, Strasbourg... Okay, interesting, interesting. People are not very fertile in this game. It does get randomly generated, a lot of it, the stats and the court people and whatnot. And we did start with a kind of small court, so... Uh, apparently, we just got an unlucky seed or something. Anyway, so um, my argument is not yet there. This one, hang on. Hang on. Yeah, we could go for it. Like, it, it doesn't make sense to marry somebody like Lowborn and just go for the... Because she has great stats, Miss Aslaug. But yeah, it's... I feel that's like a joker every every once in four or five generation that I can pull that and say he met her on the market and he's just in love. But yeah, I'm not going to go down that road. So... The argument that I can make is we do want at least some uh, what you call it, some smear of nobility, some, like at least have a house and a roof, you know, no, don't be wandering around um, and have a good trait that's visible. And 
I came to uh, choose between those two, um, Saxon and Danish brides, uh, because they are comely. So one could see how the heir does want a comely wife, um, a beautiful wife. And they're barely up to standards. He's a young man. He has uh, needs and desires. And uh, he could convince convince his father. Even, uh, yeah, there's nothing in there. Uh, he is ambitious, but there's not really, there's not really an, a marriage on the horizon that would unite two great houses. So Otto got lucky on that front. So it's just a question... Could also go for hail, actually. Fit and sound of body. That was my original idea. Um, since she was ill, we waited for that a bit, but her health is fine. She's hale, she's rowdy, she's sadistic, and paranoid. Ooh. Well, that's a bit difficult to fall in love with. How about Radegund? Radegund, you are temperate. Paranoid and ambitious. Charismatic negotiator and beautiful looking. House Utlede. Four living members. A baron. Baron of Utlede. We're gonna be... He doesn't have any claims. He's just... Somewhere, somehow. Yeah, just up here in Bremen. I think that makes sense. I think that that makes sense. They could have met each other at the feast or at some court affair. Um, Bremen is a bit closer to Poland, maybe. And uh, he just fell in love with the uh, with the beauty, even though she doesn't. Oh, she's deceitful. And she's ambitious. Hmm. Yep, but she's just too good looking. And we get a little small alliance that could. Bring us to doom, by the way, or uh, maybe they'll they'll grow, but <laughs> I highly doubt it. Anyway, we'll go for Radigund, and uh, she will barely accept. Uh, yeah, and we got an ally out of it. So there we go. Heir off to get married. Gladly accept your marriage proposal. Your son and heir Otto and my daughter Radigund will be joined in holy matrimony. May God grant them long life and many children. Indeed, hopefully he does. And yeah, you are married now. Actually, yeah, we have to fulfill that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you guys get down to business. And we'll see how that works out. Actually, let's hang on. I don't like that. Can I character pin? No, I think I go here. No. How do I do that? You? Can I just right click on you? Barbershop. There we go. Um, let's remove that stupid headwear. And give you a little western alone ability. Uh, maybe can I pick the color? Loanability, I guess. Yeah, I guess that looks okay. Nothing too fancy. Uh, of course, we're gonna keep her hairstyle and we're gonna keep her hair color and everything, but you know, just just leave it open. And Otto with that ridiculous. Come on. Ah, <laughs> uh, we don't look at that hat. I mean, that yeah, that's just the the peasant peasant's hat. Uh, maybe a noble cap. Is that noble? I'm I'm not sure. Well, let's say it's noble for the times. No, that doesn't look good. Doom de doom doom do a cap. That was that. Okay, a hood. No. Uh, no crown. Turban. Okay, let's just go without. No, not default. Where's none? No hat. Nothing. Is that? No option? That isn't it. No headwear. There we go. Whew. Scared me. Because he does have a nice nice hair. I mean... Oops. Supply changes. Good. That is settled. Uh, that took a bit, but 
It is our error, so it has to be thought through. Now, what was I talking about? Yeah, we're waiting for uh, for the claim here, waiting for our beloved friendly neighbors to uh, lose a bit of strength, and uh, waiting for an opportunity to strike at Duke Gerard of Upper Lorraine. Oh, we finished to increase county control. That is great. Let us see if we have another. Yeah, we need to control Zurich as well. There you go, but that's not too much to do. Because um, we do want a firm grasp on on the Empire. I'm not a friend of expanding too quickly in Crusader Kings. I like to do it slow and controlled. At least that was what worked great in, uh, in the second Crusader Kings. Spouse on tourney day. The sun, the sun is shining and peasants are milling about the tourney hosted by my wife. All my knights cheer as Countess Regilind announces the tournament in their honor. And for once, I get to simply sit and watch. I'm not going to spend an entire tourney day stuck to a throne, however. I too would cheer my knights. This is a perfect chance to give Otto a few pointers. Hmm. This day is in our honor, my dear. Okay, so that is my decision. Okay, so I'm ambitious and just and deceitful. Hmm. I think the the ambitious part in me wants to take the chance and point out to my son how how he can take on some of these abilities the knights have while he's watching them. Like, I'll point them out. Because I did fight in a couple wars. And we are quite skilled in martial. So I th I'm leaning towards that. Um, though it would be just to cheer for my knights that fought in battle for me. Um, yeah, but I think it's like... He's nearing his... Uh, he's in his 50s. And the heir has just come of age, so it, it just makes more sense to take the chance um, to, t to teach him a trick or two. And that's what we're gonna try and do. Okay, uh, where was I? Gee, I keep forgetting my train of thought. Yeah, we got control in Zurich. I uh, did explain why I want to grow slow and low. We do have a piety problem. I was thinking of addressing that. Let's see if we got something to do here. Oops. I can declare wars, powerful vassals, demand council positions, mayor Hemmer, landless mayor, whatever, that's not a powerful vassal. Um, I can create a duchy, not yet necessary, active elections, designate a guardian for Ida von Habsburg. Uh, okay, 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 we can make some friends. Um, what? She's 12 and... Oh, that's me. Okay, Whew, I was about... Okay, I thought these were her stats. Like, 18 Marshall and... Like, <laughs> what? But no, it's not, it's not, it's not. I'm just an idiot. Anyway, uh, not yet relevant. Okay, do. A shady discussion. I'm passing through the castle gardens for a morning walk when a soft breeze carries the voices of Leopold and... Leopold and Bernhard to my ear. Leopold is my knight and a treacherous craven. That's a good attribute for a knight. And Leopold is also my knight and a dishonorable villain. Lovely. The two courtiers are talking to each other in a secluded spot nearby, frequently glancing around to make sure nobody's listening. While it's hard for me to make out most of their words from a distance, it's clear that their discussion relates to Mayor Agnes. Okay. Um... Okay, I will have them bound and delivered to Agnes. Yeah, that's stupid. Yeah, that, that goes against all we are. It's not just because we just caught a hint of a conversation. Um, it's not ambitious because we can't use what they talk about against them. And it is not deceitful at all. So, if only I could get a little bit closer... They could spot me, or I could learn the subject of their conversation. I must know what they're hiding, whatever the cost, so I torture the information out of them. 
Ah, that doesn't sound like... That's not blowing it out of proportion. Or just walk by. No, 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 no. I think we are deceitful. We're ambitious. We really want to know. So we'll go a bit closer and listen. Shady discussion. I managed to get closer to the two courtiers without them noticing me. They seem to be discussing Mayor Agnes' private life and some unsavory habit of hers. Interesting. Interesting. Non-believer, you say? Well, that's nice to know. Might be useful in a later point in time. Yo, uh, what was I saying? We do have a little bit of a piety problem. Oh, that stuff keeps coming up. The enemy of Rome. While studying the tactics of ancient generals, I was astonished to learn about the exploits of Hannibal Bas Bacar during the Second Punic War. Yeah, Hannibal was quite the character. Like Hannibal, I will annihilate my enemies. I gained the trait aggressive attacker. Versatility was Hannibal's greatest strength. I gain a flexible leader. Enemy defensive advantage minus 50. Yeah, that sounds good. Ha! Huh, he was a fool fighting this hopeless war. Well, we are not stupid. Well, well. <laughs> um, we're deceitful, just and ambitious, so we're not really stupid. Um, and we could see the like. Um, we could see Hannibal as somebody to thrive after. I mean, he was the definition of ambitious, bringing his elephants over the Alps. Um, but I think we're smart enough to discover that his versatility was his greatest strength. Yeah, I think that makes most sense. Because that's just a bit rambunctious. Annihilate my enemies. We don't really have enemies... Per se, we're mostly fighting for claims, so yeah, let's, let's go with that one. We are a flexible leader. We certainly are. Okay, piety problem. Um, oops, Duke Gilom must by now starting to fall in love with me. Maybe if I sway him once more, he will drop his knickers for me, in which I really don't want. So let's stop. Oh, the scheme's at its end anyway. Um, intrigue. Abandoned scheme, abandoned. He likes me just enough, I mean. So, can I scheme against you in some way, shape, or form? I can murder scheme, but that doesn't help me at all. I can blackmail. Do I have a secret? Oh yeah, he's a lover. And then what do I get? Select which secret to use for black mail, yeah, and then what does it get me? He wants to protect the secret plus 80... Huh, I don't understand. Doesn't get me anything, does, do I see that correctly? So that's the only thing I have on him. Um, pff, yeah, not much I can do. Okay, is there any vassal on my court that really dislikes me? Gottschalk, my guest. Well, let's actually um, go to the realm. Mayor Hemma of Pontalier. Though our court is rather small, so I don't really see a way to replace her. But she's not that... No, she's not that old either. And those are my only powerful... Vassals. She does have a bit of scheming. Well, let's sway her a bit. I mean, what's the harm in that? Hopefully my wife will not misunderstand it. And I was thinking, I'm not quite sure, maybe you guys uh, give me an opinion on that, but I was... Oops, hang on. Emperor Heinrich is attacked by King Konrad. Okay. King Konrad is the king of Bohemia. And he must have some good allies. Duke Otta the Handsome of Moravia. Oh, that's, yeah. That's smart. And Duke Magnus of Angria. 
Yeah, he's uh, he's quite powerful. But so must be the emperor. Oh no, he is not. I guess he just came to the. Yeah, oh yeah, he's an eight-year-old. Ay ay ay. He has uh, siblings. Has a twin princess. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. You wanna marry? I don't have daughters. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I can't do anything with that information. I was thinking though. It feels a bit abusive to still be in that independence faction. Um, hang on. While performing a duty as spy master, I discovered that Countess Sophia of Bray has taken Count Valram of Eschen, Count Valram of Eschenlue as a lover. Sophia and the Countess. Not too many people. County of Eschenlue. Mm, yeah. Not just interesting. All kinds of loving going on on the court of Upper Lorraine. Um, so it, it feels kind of gamey because I do control. Like, if I wasn't the leader of the independence faction, they would have pressed their demands a long time ago. I do not want to be independent of the Holy Roman Empire. If anything, I want to take it over in, a, in its most intact shape one day. So it's in my interest that it stays together and that we can then make a grasp for the throne after we um, grew our empire a little bit, like Angria, what is to become Saxony, did up here. Uh, so yeah we're not really it's not really in our interest um i could just leave the faction but i'll i'll stay there a while longer um my reasoning being hang on someone else my wife countess regelind is once again absent from her chambers as night falls she's been distant lately uh, okay we still like her though uh lost in thought and rarely seen at court am i not to her satisfaction is she simply busy or could she be warming someone else's bed hmm I confront her. Her move will be watched. She would never just suspect the sanctity of our marriage. Well, we're not that naive. She might disrespect that sanctity. She is a schemer. We're not stupid to confront her. I think we'll just watch her. We just found some secrets... Yeah, let's let's switch attention to our court. We just found some secrets, <coughs> excuse me, on uh, the Duke of Lorraine, but this has to be investigated. If my wife is unfaithful, that definitely has to be investigated because the outcome could be that there's going to be some siblings that will then fight um, fight for the what I'm going to leave my heir for the counties of Zurich or Bern or whatever. Uh, we do not want that. If we can find out she has a lover and if she then um, has any children with him, we can uh, immediately disinherit those and uh, kill kill the trouble before it starts. <sighs> Attacking. Ooh, what are you guys fighting over? For the county of Naumberg. Where's that? Here. Hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Ah. It's too bad, though. Oh, he's just joined the, the Duchy of Meissen. Okay. Okay, okay. I thought he's in an attacking war, and that would be my opportunity to pounce when he's losing men, but yeah. They're both pretty much beating up on a kid. Duke Dedo of Lausitz. And uh, he doesn't have many soldiers, he doesn't have allies, really. So... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, do. Um... Okay, Prince Bishop, whatever. So I think maybe uh, next episode we're going to go on a pilgrimage. 
deal with that piety problem of ours. And uh, I'm just waiting. I mean, we're almost there with the claim on St. Gallen. <coughs> but it would be lovely to be able to fall into his back. That would be like my grand achievement of Count Werner's life. To usurp the Duchy of Upper Lorraine. I think we'll go for that even if it's even odds. I think we'll try. We'll save up money, go with the mercenaries. I'm um, trying to catch him when he's poor. I think that's a thing he wants to attempt maybe before he's 60, like like in his lifetime. He wants to he wants to go there. My health is poor though. Ah, that might not be great. Hang on. Will these touch you up on rain? It won't get inherited, right? I don't think. Anyway, I'll check that off screen or maybe next episode uh, and share my findings. This one's gone on for long enough. Um, by the way, before I sign out, uh, you guys, please, please, please don't be ashamed and uh, don't like hold back. Put in the comments how I can improve these these series because I really love to play the game and I hope you you get that and you enjoy you enjoy watching but if there's something like it should go faster should go slower I should explain more um, you feel I'm not true to the character that I'm playing something like that just put it in the comments I really want to learn um, what you guys like and and tailor my playthrough I mean I'm still gonna be me I'm still gonna play my strategy but I can adjust it a bit and I can improve the experience so if there's anything or oh, the sounds too loud music too little whatever just let me know um, better you say and I won't take all of it in account, then I'll never know and produce content that is subpar to your expectations, right? Okay, that will do it for now. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. And as always, have a wonderful day.